rousing the cop loves fantasy Premier League just as much as you guys, so we've built our own team to compete. Michael Baddeley gives you the walkthrough. Here we are, our first team of the fantasy Premier League season. Game week one is always one of the hardest, if not the hardest week of the FPL season. You should NT get to disheartened if it doesn't go to plan as there are 37 more weeks to make up for the errors but returning players will tell you it's always pleasing to get off to a good start. All three pre-season managers will have been tinkering with their sides and we are no different we've gone through a ridiculous amount of players, tried numerous amounts of formations and probably had around 20 different drafts altogether but finally, we think we have found the lineup that will give us a decent start. The rousing the cop team for game week one goalkeeper in goal, we have Ben Foster 4.5 million pounds as our starter with Newcastle United's Rob Elliott 4 million pounds as backup. Both teams have fairly average starts to the season and we all know that Tony Pullis' teams are usually defensively sound so Foster gets the nod from us. Neither will set the world on fire, but at those prices it allows us to invest valuable money elsewhere on the pitch. Defence We wanted to invest in Kyle Walker, but it's simply WASNT feasible if we were going to get the big hitters up top. Instead, we went for another Man City defender in Danilo. Pep utilises his full-backs very high up the pitch, almost like wing-backs at times, so his attacking returns could be pleasing and with only playing Brighton, his defensive returns could also be high. Cedric and Charlie Daniels are our two other defenders, again they'll both be used as full-backs so they could possibly get assists from putting numerous crosses into the box as well as standing a good chance at keeping a clean sheet. Trent Alexander-Arnold and Burnley's Kevin Long fill the final two positions in our side but only make the bench. They are both cheap options and the first of the two is more than likely going to get game time this weekend due to injury to Nathaniel Klein. Midfield we couldn't look past De Brown and Mane as our two big hitters in midfield. Like I said in my previous article, KDB is the safest option into the Man City attacking lineup until we know who Pep's preferred players are. I fully expect the Belgian to pull the strings against newly promoted Brighton and his creativity will be too much for them to handle. Mane, I couldn't not pick a Liverpool attacker we saw how explosive they were last season and Sadio was probably the most explosive out of all of them. HE's Premier League proven and is arguably Klopp's most dangerous player. We couldn't really look past a Chelsea option when we saw that they faced Burnley at home this weekend. Burnley had the second worst away record in the Premier League last season with one win, four draws, 15 losses and they also conceded 55 goals all season. Due to that poor record, we've gone for Willian as our third choice. Potentially on set pieces and having an impressive pre-season was too much for us to ignore and as a result, he makes the 11. Our final pick might raise a few eyebrows but hear me out on this one. So, we have gone for Swansea as Tom Carroll. I know, some of you are probably thinking why on earth have they picked him but due to the situation with Jiffy Sigurdsson, it seems like Carroll will be utilised in the more advanced midfield role and at £4.5 million we couldn't really ignore him, especially when he enables us to spend more money up top. The final midfielder is Ruben Loftus-Cheek, again another £4.5 million player who could possibly start for Crystal Palace and now allows us to spend big up top. Forwards our final three places were occupied by two heavy hitters and one average-priced striker. You could probably guess that two of our strikers are Kane and Lukaku, we'd be stupid not to go for the two highest-scoring strikers of last season. Our last pick is Crystal Palace's Christian Benteke. We know he will score goals over the season, but HES very much a punt given we could have spent low on the final striker and upgraded one-hour defenders to someone like Alonso who will get both attacking and defensive returns. Benteke has looked proficient in pre-season and faces Huddersfield at home on Saturday. Frank de Boer will be looking to get off to a good start at Selhurst Park and if he is going to then he will need Benteke on form. So there you have it, our first team of the season. Be sure to let us know what you think of our team and if you want any advice then send your teams to us, we will be more than happy to help. If you haven't joined our mini-league then make sure you do, the winner will bag themselves the 1819 home shirt build your team here and use the code 221,857,091 to enter, finally, good luck.